if y'all want to learn how to make this, stay tuned. Tutorial up next. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This tutorial, if you saw the thumbnail, is going to be how to make a plastic canvas wind twirler. And I wanted to do this because I found it very interesting, very fun. Um, I saw a couple of tutorials online and they either were not um, close enough to see what the person was doing or only described what they did and didn't show how to do it. Um, and some of them were like four or five years old. So I just want it, and I have a different take on it too. I'm using different things than what they used in the tutorials. So yes, um, I hope you find this fun. It might be a great project to do with your kids if you have kids. Um, good thing for uh, Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts to, to do, I, I think would be fun. Um, anyway, so what you will need, if you're going to follow along with me on this tutorial and how I do it, um, some of the tutorials I saw used fishing string or different uh, beads, kind of like pony beads. You can use whatever materials you want but I will be showing you what I am going to do and how I took and put my spin on it. The wire that I'm going to be using is beaded stainless steel beaded string wire. So it's a wire. Um, this is like a green color, but it don't matter what colors. Um, but yes, I'm going to be using bead string wire. I will be using crimp tubes to seal the wire ends or you know what I mean close the ends off. You will need a pair of these the round I'm sorry but I do not know what they're called. <laughs> um, the round pliers and they also have a cutter or if like mine they do not cut this wire very good you will also need a pair of scissors too you will need a pair of these flat pliers to crimp the tubes with Put the scissors there also. You will also need the scissors to cut the canvas. And please do not use a good pair of scissors for your yarn cutting or anything like that because using the scissors on this plastic canvas will make them dull. So only use a pair of scissors designed or designated, should I say, for stuff like this. So you will also need plastic canvas of any of the color choices that you wish. And today I am using seed beads. I Like I said, I've seen where they used pony beads. I have other colors, but as you can tell, I know these are not gonna come up on my camera very good. They're just little seed beads, but they're big enough to go on the wire. But I have those colors, which they're green, white, um, and a darker green in the, in the middle on some of them. And then some of these are like a light blue, a purple, a white, a dark blue, and clear and silver ones in this one. And other beads, but I'm not going to be using those. I will be using the ones that look like this or this. And I know they're not coming up very good, but yeah and then also here is more of the blue ones those kind of show up a little bit but the glare from the the um lighting is not good 
but yeah just little beads but you can also use any size size beads you wish um, but I do say the smaller the bead the more you will need to go in between the two pieces and you will understand more when we get to how to construct it okay so let me clean this up and we'll get right into it okay I have these that I have already pre-cut I have eight of the white eight of the green eight of the blue and eight of the pink I don't know exactly which order I'm gonna go in but it's gonna be something like this probably so but how you would want to cut them now I guess I will show you on a blue since it's a little <clears throat> excuse me darker and easier to see against the white background in tutorials oops in the tutorials that I've seen they say count 30 up I, I found that makes the very center off what I did was I went by three and then I counted 29 up and cut it that makes you want the 15th from each side, the 15th hole in the middle, to be dead center. So if you count 15 over from this way and then 15 over from this way, it's the same one. So how I do them, this is already cut off at the 29th, but you would count one two and then three very carefully cut along an edge as close as you can get without cutting the um, line right here and then it leaves you a smooth edge if you don't get close enough you'll have these little bumps so you would just go back and trim them off so yeah however many you want to do i have 32 eight of each color okay so to start you will need be right back okay I had to measure I cannot get this all in but just to be on the safe side I have measured and you will need about 30 inches of string this might be too much but it might not be because you also have to crimp the ends and make loops for the hanger that you want to put it on or a little hanger for the bottom that hangs on the bottom of it so this is going to be the middle so technically you would need three pieces of 30 inches each of wire so to begin you would want to take one of your crimp tubes And I think you'll need about six or eight of them so we are going to begin and I know you're all not gonna be able to see this very well slip it on the wire and then you're gonna feed it back in through little tube but make sure you leave enough if you want to hang something on it or if you're gonna do I'm starting with the bottom uh, 
middle first. But if you wanted to start at the top, then it, it don't really matter. You just have to leave a bigger loop on one end than the other. And then you would take your flat nosed and crimp it flat. And it holds it in place. And then the next one, you will take a bead Let's go with the light green one and feed it on the other end. And you'll want to run this wire, the little short one, through the bead also. And let's do a different color green. And how about a white? And that will kind of hold it in place. Now, whichever color you would like to start with, if you're doing it all one color, that's great. I have four that I'm going to use, so I'm going to start off with, I guess, the pink. And I'm going to count 15 over from either direction. It will be the dead middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So that one right there. That is the dead center from both ends. And you'll want to go into the middle one, like the second hole from each side. So that's the very middle. And you just feed it through. Make sure you push that wire through there too. Just like that. And then you get some more beads. Trying to run away from me. <laughs> Let's do try to keep a pattern. Well, let's do a white one this time. Actually, it's kind of shiny. And then a green one. And I'm going to put three of these beads in between each plastic canvas. And feed that little piece of wire. Now I'm going to put the how about the white one? Same thing, you would count 15 over. 15 over. Sorry, my phone uh, ran out of memory. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, and 15. You go into the middle. And then put three more beads. Just like that. And then same thing. You would. You can also line it up. With the one that you have already gone into. And check your middle spot. And do it that way. But if you're worried. Um, that it 
will not be the correct one. You can lay them flat and look if the ends match up, which they all do, then you're in the correct one. Oops, it flew off there. Now, if you're using pony beads, I would suggest only one bead in between. But since these are seed beads, they're a lot smaller. And you'll need more space. So that is what you're going to do and see how it comes out. Now it looks a little wonky right now. It's going to. But once we get to the edge parts, then that's when it will start taking a form of a spiral shape. So I will meet you back when I have all my pieces on here. And I will see you then. Okay, so I have got all of my 32 pieces on and my beads. So this is kind of what it's going to look like. It's not going to look like much, but once we start doing an edge, that's when it will take its shape of the twirler spiral part now we are going to you you have a lot left over if you want to make this your loop to hang it from the tree you can and that's what i'm gonna do with this one i think but if it doesn't hang down far enough you can always um add like a piece of yarn or something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one crimp here at the last bead to hold it in place. And you'll want to try to snug it down. Be careful and do not pinch your finger and then clamp it. And that will hold the beads in place so they don't move. Now to make the loop to hang it from, and it will not lay flat, <laughs> having problems. Okay, to make the loop, you'll need another crimp. And you'll want to go ahead and slip it on. And however big you want your loop to be, whether it's a small one like this or a big one, you will want to give it a little bit of room in between the other crimp. And you'll want to feed the end of the wire through it and adjusting the loop to how big of a loop you want whether you want it that big or that big i'm going to give it a little bit of room so I'm going to do mine like about like that. And you'll just want to crimp the tube down. If you have to, go to both sides. Make sure it's nice and flat. And then you'll want to cut your wire, excess wire off. Get rid of that. 
and then you have it to hang it from. Or, like I said, you can tie a, tie a piece of yarn and or string or something and hang it from, from there. Okay, so for the next part, we are going to be doing these sides. That's easier said than done with this flipping upward. <laughs> okay, and it will twist around on you. So, okay, so we are going to start with a crimp tube. And another piece of wire and try to get it to the edge. that crimp it good and if you want to you can cut off this excess wire but I'm gonna leave it because I'm gonna hide it with these beads and I have two colors here and I am going to alternate I'm gonna do a light blue then a dark blue, and then a light blue. I'm going to keep the same pattern, three beads, and uh, before, like at the very beginning, and then three beads in between each plastic canvas. So that is the design I'm doing on the outside but for this slip the beads over it and then move these over okay so at your top what you're going to do is if you have it facing like this turn it and you are going to go in through the top like that and then back through on the third one. And then just pull it through. And then you add some more beads. Light blue, dark, whoops. Dark blue. And then a light blue. And then you are going to go to your next one and through this top one go through it and yes this wire will curl up on itself <laughs> like this and then on the bottom
go from the back to the front through the bottom one. And then add some more beads. And then go to your next one, go through the top one, front to back, and then pull it through. Oops. Just bent the wire. And then through the bottom, back to front. And that is technically all you do on the sides. And the further you go, you can't really see it right now, but it looks like little steps. Um, the more you go, it will make more of a spiral. I'll do one more. So you go to the next one, you go front to back, throw my beads everywhere. <laughs> there we go. And then back to front. One thing I wanted to mention is that you see how it's starting to curl up up here. That will be normal. Um, it's just going to do that. So kind of just have to not get mad at it and do your best. And try to keep it out of your own way as you're after it gets a certain point it doesn't get in the way anymore but yeah it does make it a little bit more difficult messed up right there And if you have to do the wire kind of like this and then let it go down and then it won't um, tangle up on you. Well, I can't see what I'm doing. There we go. Okay, so you do this and I will meet you at the end of this side and then you would do the same thing with this side and yeah so I'll see you at the end all right so I just got done with this one side and as you can see it's starting to take the spiral shape and it will kind of curl up on you like I said before, but how we're going to end this is the same way we've been doing, get you a crimp tube. And put it on.
thread it back through. And then if you can, slide these three beads down and thread that extra wire through those beads. And then tighten them up. And then have it back here and pinch it down so everything stays in place and then crimp it and then you're going to cut off this excess right here unless you want to hang something from the three pieces that hang down instead of just the middle but if you do want to cut it that's up to you I'm going to only the two outside ones. And then I'm also going to cut this little piece. So, and that will secure it. So one side is done. I think it's going to turn out really cute, guys. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. And I will show y'all the finished project after this. I also forgot to tell y'all when starting the other side over here, this side you started going this way, this side, oops, you're going to start going this way. So you would go in the opposite Everything would still be the same, just uh, it would look like opposite because you're working down this way. This way, you're going to be going that way. Okay, so I just finished the other side, and this is how it should look. Now, I did have to go back, and I shortened this part at the top and also cut the loops on each corner and I left a small loop at the bottom to hang something from for those of you out there that do make stitch markers you could make a stitch marker and hang from the bottom or a shell um you know thread a shell onto something and clip it onto here if you make one of these, just let so you know, this is not my design. I just wanted to do a tutorial on it because I thought it was very neat, very interesting. I like them, and I wanted to give y'all my take on it. So, disclaimer, I did not create this. It is not my design. I am just doing a tutorial on it, and I hope you'd enjoyed this. If you make them... From my tutorial, I would love to see them in my Facebook group. You can post pictures there. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day. Bye-bye for now.